everybody, this is Victor Veldress. So today I wanted to show you a exploit or a tip or a trick. I think it's an exploit because Paradox really should fix this. That I use occasionally in single player games to get a leg up and in multiplayer games to make sure I can just snowball out of control. So as you can tell by the title or by the thumbnail, money is the major component of whether or not you can snowball. It decides your force projection early on. Because to build armies, you need money. To hire advisors, you need money. To hire mercenaries, you need money. If you're a Khmer here, or most other countries, you have a little bit of money, some manpower, so you can kind of do it. Now, I will say, before I start, it's not an Iron Man, but I will show you why. Though this does work in Iron Man, and this is in Leviathan, though it does work in Emperor as well. Here is effectively what you do. In Emperor, they gave you monopolies, and I'm showing this in Khmer for a couple of reasons. These monopolies, however, for Khmer and a lot of other countries, just either don't give you a lot of money, or it is not feasible for you to give up that much income to use them. They are not, however, the easiest money you can get. To get that, it's actually in these. With these, you can sack... 30 crown land. And these are worth sacking crown land for. I'm suddenly at zero crown land. That's the other reason I'm in Khmer. A lot of people will click this button. Don't click this button. It's not worth it yet. Instead, go to a province. Any province will do. Do it debit one time. That gives you 0.2 crown land, or effectively 0.2. Here is where it is. gets interesting. Because the clergy, the nobles, and the merchants all want to buy your real estate, they will pay you 10% of crown land value for your 0.2% crown land. Whether that's because they can't do math, or because they think this is a game of monopoly and they will overpay for land, I'm not exactly sure. But they will do it. They will get more loyal if you do it as well. Just because. Then click this button. Now, obviously this is not for every country, and this tells you why the tax doesn't matter, the autonomy is annoying but doesn't matter, the absolutism doesn't matter, because it's not even in the game at this point, it's that liberty desire. There are two countries in particular I can say don't try this on, and that's Morocco and Timurids. France can actually do this method, and I believe so can, so can Russia, Muscovy. But everybody else can largely do this, either by getting the monarch points or getting governing capacity. So, have it that. The reason I'm not an Iron Man, though, is because I wanted to show you why you should not be afraid of going that far into Crown Land to get this advantage. Because this lets me, as Khmer, hire pretty much every mercenary that's available to me. But, this is also why. Let's just say I go to war with him. I had a claim for permission or something. Once I win the war, and I take land from him, it has an effect on crown land. And it has an effect depending on how much his percentage of crown land is and yours. It even shows it now here. So I will get, even though it says negative, you're looking for negative, five crown land from the nobility, two from the clergy, and 1.1 from the merchants. So I went from four, almost five, 4.994, to 13. Having that liberty desire from subjects immediately, just reducing it. So this will let you get the money you need to go in, buy mercenaries, beat up on a target, take money from them and land to fix your crown land, which after should take you about five years to do that. You can do this again after giving more of these privileges to get the governing capacity and do it again. Get more money from that, money from your enemy to hire even more mercenaries and go after your next target and take their land. And suddenly, you have a decent amount of crown land, 
And if you don't give the governing capacity, you'll probably end up roughly where you would have been had you not done this, but with a lot more land and a lot more money. So, hopefully this will help you snowball out of control. Hopefully this will make it so you're able to completely stomp your friends in multiplayer games because you can expand faster and have far more money than they have at the start of the game. But, thank you all for watching. Have a great day.